Manchester United beats Liverpool in the, is it round of 16 or the quarter final? I can't even remember, man. My head is going. Um, But yeah, Manchester United beats Liverpool in the FA Cup today at Old Trafford. Now, it was one of those games where we know that we're going to score because knowing how Liverpool plays and operate as a whole, they were always going to give us space. Is me And that played into our hands in the first half. And that's where we got the first goal. Rashford played it into Ganacho's feet. Ganacho took the shot and it went off at the goalkeeper. Mark Tomney, you know, picked up the pieces and headed it home. 1-0 to Manchester United. So you would think it's a comfortable game, right? You know, Liverpool is not up to the par. Their, their defence is looking a bit... Um, their defence is looking a bit... Um, hmm, a bit off. It wasn't on point. Even with Van Dijk, even with Van Dijk's on Twan Same, I call him Twan and Van Dijk's because he looked like Van Dijk. Is me, but they were not able. That was by their own doing because they gave us the space and were exploiting it. Gonna try a couple of chances in the first half where he, he, he could have at least put that cross face a goal or even go for goal himself, but those chances were not taken. But Manchester United. Us trying to push up, we gave sports space to Liverpool. We can't be giving space to Liverpool. We can't be giving space to Liverpool. And this is not Liverpool from 2018. doesn't matter. You cannot give space to Liverpool. Because they were knocking on the door just like the, the wolf on, on, the pig, on, on the piglet's door. And they were trying to bust in. They were trying to bust in. They were trying to bust in. Until the defender, Van Dijk's son, Twan Simi, ran with the ball. I don't even know how we, got, we gave this, bro, this bridging the time on the ball to run through our defence and give it to Darwin Nunez, Vitor Rizzuto, it looks like Vitor Rizzuto, and he go pass the ball to McAllister. One time hit, near post. Onana should be getting beat at his near post. Now it was a defected goal of, uh, you know, uh, Kobe Minor's foot, which was unlucky. But you can't get beat at your near post like that, man. Hold on. You can't get beat at your near post like that, man. But anyway, uh... What else? Yeah, so in the first, in it, it was one one. Just before half time, just t changes the team talk. In the second half, Liverpool, um, they got a goal. They got a goal. Um, I don't even remember how they got the goal. How they got the goal? Oh, Salah. Oh, before the first half finish, dude. This is this this is the thing. This is the, what is one of the biggest problems we have this season, is that we cannot see out. Number one, we can't see out games, and we cannot see out the first half or the second half. If you are leading and we're going to concede, how is it that we are going to allow the opposite the side just before half time to go take the lead? If you want to, you know, be conservative until half time, do that, man. Why are you trying to go for a goal? Why are you trying to push? Why are you trying to press Liverpool? And that's what Liverpool does. Impress Bruno Fernandes out of possession, play the ball into. I don't remember what happened, but there was a scuff in the box. Salon is right foot and go score. They took the lead. This is one of the problems that we have had this season. We cannot see what games happen against Copenhagen. It happened against um it happened against most sides. Man can't even name them sides. But it has happened too much times where it's becoming like a reputation for us. It's me. Second half. I don't remember what happened in the second half. But the, the, the main point of the game is this. Kobe Minor was a shining light in the first half. We can see that he's our best midfielder. He has a strong sense of maturity. He has a strong sense of maturity. He's even better than Scott McTominay. Although Scott McTominay was doing his bits in the, second, in, the, in the first half. He's a better midfielder than Scott McTominay. And he's better than Bruno Fernandes. And this guy's the youngest midfielder on the midfield. And he's like boss in the midfield. He looks like a young Clarence Seedorf, man. That used to play for Ajax and then for Real Madrid. It just goes to show that he, even though our midfield is not the most balanced, he makes it tick somewhat. But anyway, in the first, in the second half, they equalize. Who they, who they equalize again? I can't remember what they equalize, but they equalize. And anyway, man, yeah, we basically gave the game to Liverpool. And it wasn't until Anthony came on that he equalized. That was a much needed goal. For Anthony to score. Anthony needed that goal to get the criticism off his back. At least some of them. Because most of them will come off his back. It's me. But it was like a reliever. It was a reliever. It was a very good goal. Anthony came on. Um, and Ahmad Diallo came on. And yeah man. We, we equalized the game just before the game was finished. 
Um, another thing is that uh, Rashford, Rashford got, got equalized after Piggy from Liverpool go score the goal. Piggy is um Elliot. Um, but skipping over miscellaneous details, man. The main re the main thing about this game is that we got, we did what we have to do. We did that. We did what we have to do. This me, it wasn't the most prettiest, but we we got what we did. What we have, we 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 did what we have to do. This me, uh, Liverpool wasn't at their best. It was one of their strongest levels, but they didn't play like their best. This me. And because of the scruffy, the, the miscommunication at Piggy, that is Elliot with, uh, I think it's Guapo, one of them players, gonna to run with the ball with Ahmad Diallo. And until the 18 yard box gave the ball to Ahmad Diallo, on his left foot, boom, far post, boom, beats the goalkeeper, good goal. Now, this Bridgerin, he wasn't aware that he was booked. <laughs> He wasn't. He didn't. He was not aware that he was yellow carded. So this bitch go take off his shirt and go celebrate like he's Cristiano Ronaldo in the in in the in the in the in the Spanish Cup final in 2017 against Barcelona camp, at the Camp Nou Stadium. Yeah, and he go get sent off. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, when you're in the mo when you're in the moment, and score the winning goal, man. Certain things just come over, man. It's the motion, it's the malarkey, whatever you want to call. It. It's just raw, pure emotions, passion, man. You don't think straight. You even forgot you got booked. Is me? So, but he won the game for us, and that's what matters. So, we're into the next round of um the FA Cup. We look forward to who we get in the next round of the FA Cup. Um, so yeah, man, that's that's basically it, man. Uh, it was a proper game. We we played decent. We didn't play worse today. We we tried to we we tried to. I wouldn't say go toe to toe because we have gotten smacked, but we 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 held our own. In simple terms, we held our own. Is me. We tried. We yeah, we held our own. So anyway, man, let me know what you think below. Comments below in the comment section. What's your thoughts on Manchester United's performance against Liverpool? Who is your shining bright and light? My shining bright and light is uh, Kubiman in the first half. In the second half, he was um, almost non-existent. And I believe that was due to the changing of tactics. Um, and a few a few other things I noticed, man. Rashford going through the middle and, Rash and Garnacho going on the left. Dude, Rash Garnacho should not be playing on the left-hand side. The, one of the things... The reason why I'm not going into this, well, I'm not going to it anyway, but I don't want this video to be long, but I'm going to say this because this needs to be said. When we have space, Liverpool gave us a lot of space, you know, in the first half and the second half, and the first half and the second half of extra time. The thing is that we do not exploit those opportunities. And that's because I don't know what we're doing in training when, we're, when it comes to attacking. We don't have that cutting edge, that knife sword where we attack them and explore the space, put the ball into the box, or, you know, go for goal ourselves. Gun at you on the left hand side, rush for jogging with the ball, and there is an empty, open field of space, and this bridge with no exploit. Why you don't exploit it, man? Explore the space. Dribble inside, don't nudge. Dribble the ball inside. Yeah, man, we could have won the game. I mean, won the game anyway, but this is one of the things that can make and break us in terms of winning games, man. It's like we don't even know what to do with the space. It's like a fat kid in the candy store. We have too much candy. We have too much option. We don't even know what to do. And this is why Ruganacho should be playing on the right hand side because he gets his head up for one and he know and he's more instinctual. You see me? So he knows what to do on the right hand side as opposed to on the left hand side. Rashford through the middle. Not the best option, but he got a goal. He got a goal. You know, he got a goal and it was a proper goal that equalized in the in the extra time. It was a very good goal. Assist from Scott McTominay. So yeah, man. Um and Bruno Fernandes is dropping in, in defense. <laughs> Maguire playing a lot of things happen in the game, but I don't want this video to belong. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel right now. Um hit that bell as well so that you can be notified on each upload. Yeah, man, it was a I wouldn't even say professional, but it was a proper game where we won. It wasn't at our best, but we will take the win anyway. I'm going to, and uh, so yeah, man, that's that's all I want to say. Comments on me in the comment section with that being said about the result. Peace.